Okay, good afternoon, second grade on Friday, October the 9th. We are ready for math class. So today in math, we're going to explore a situation with more than nine groups of 10. So we're gonna continue working with our disc and moving them around some. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is our sprint. So you will have your sprints. We're only gonna do A on the video and then you can do B on your own sometime. You will need the problem set, the application problem. I'm sorry, just the problem sets. There's two pages of problem set. And I don't know if I put an exit ticket in. And the exit ticket. There is no application problem today. We're not doing an application problem today. So sprints, problem set, and um, exit ticket. That is all you're going to need today. So let's go on and get started, okay? So in your sprint today, you're gonna to be adding, okay? You're gonna be adding. Looks like some of these are in expanded form that you're gonna to add together. Remember, expanded form is really just slide numbers. And slide those numbers together. So, here we go. Pencils up. We're on A. Here we go. And begin. pencils down. There goes my timer. Hey, here we go. Let's check these. Number one, 21. Number two, 22. Number three, 23. Number four, 29. Number five, 39. Number six, 49. Number seven, 89. Number eight, 44. Number nine, 55. <clears throat> Number 10, 17. 11, 25. 12, 230. 13, 340. 14, 450. 15, 560. 16, 670. 17, 780. 18, 235, 19, 345, 20, 456, 21, 567, 22, 678, 23, 425, 24, 261, 25, 201, 26, 301. 27, 401, 28, 501, 29, 701, 30, 352, 31, 302, 32, 117, 33, 107, 34, 717, 35, 705, 36, 347, 37, 307, 38, 532, 39, 502, 40, 502, 41, 602, 42, 642, 43, 
713 and 44. 738. Those are some big numbers if you got confusing there at the end. Okay, let's go on and get out your problem set because that's what we're doing today is working through the problem sets. There's a couple of them, okay? So, on the first problem set, number one, it says, pencils come in boxes of 10, okay? There are 14 boxes. How many pencils are there in all? Explain your answer using words, pictures, or numbers. Well, this is kind of like an application problem. We're going to do several of them today. So, pencils come in boxes of 10. There are 14 boxes. How many pencils are there in all? So, we have 14 boxes of pencils, okay? Each box has 10 in a box, okay? So, we have 14 boxes. We have 10 in each box. How many? How many in all? So we want to know how many in all. So if we have how many in all, eventually we're going to have to add somewhere. Okay? We're going to have to add together something or count in a certain way to get that number. Okay, well, let's look at our information. We have 14 boxes, 10 in a box. Let's go on and let's make boxes. Okay, we need 14 boxes. So let's make our 14 boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen boxes. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. I have fourteen boxes. In each box there are ten. There are 10 in each box. So let's put 10 in each, in each box. We have 10 in each box. All right. Now, they want to know, well, how many pencils in all? How many pencils in all? We could do this in several ways. We can add 10 plus 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 10. We could add that all together. That's a lot of tens to add, but we could. Or we could add our rows together and get 10, 20, 30, 40. Then we go 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 plus 40 is, you know, we could add it together that way. Or we could count by tens. I think counting by tens might be the easiest thing we can do. So let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. So there are 140 box pencils all together. So our answer would be, after you draw your picture, there are 140 pencils. So that would be our answer we would write. We have our picture, we have our answer, and of course we have our information that we're working with. And that's what they're asking us to do on our paper. Pull out the information, picture, and words. So that is my first problem set.
okay? That one wasn't too hard. Let's see what the next one tells us to do. Number, t number two. Let's see what number two tells us to do, okay? Okay, Pro or problem set number two. It says, the principal wants to have 300 pencils for the second graders for October, November, and December. How, how many more boxes of pencils does he need? Explain your answer using words, pictures, or numbers. Okay, we already answered in the first one that there were 14 boxes, right? We had 14 boxes of pencils. And in those boxes, we had 100, 140 pencils altogether. Because we're using the information from the first one, from number one. We're using that same information. Okay, so it told us there was 14 boxes, and that's what it set up in number one. Pencils come in boxes of 10. There are 14 boxes. So, 14 boxes. When we answer the first one, we got 140 pencils. Now we're going to use this information, but they want us to get to 300. We need 300 pencils. Okay? That's what we need. We need 300 pencils. We have 140, but we need to get to here. Okay? So, let's count with that. We can do that. We've learned how to do that. So, we're going to start with 140, okay? And we need to get to that 300. Well, I've got a tens number, so I'm going to count by tens. So, if I add 10 to that, that would be 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, okay? I'm going to continue counting by tens because I need to know how many more boxes. And pencils come in boxes of 10, okay? So I'm starting with 14. So this would be, so right now, I, to get to 200, I have, this is 14 boxes because this is what this tells me. So this would be 15 boxes, 16 boxes, 17 boxes, 18 boxes, 19 boxes, 200 box, or 20 boxes. But I'm only at 200 and I need to get to 300. So I need to do some more counting, okay? So 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. I finally got to 300 counting by tens, okay? But now I need to count my boxes. I need to count how many boxes because that's what it's asking me. How many boxes? Or how many pencils? They need 300 pencils. So to get 300 pencils, we need to find out how many more. How many more? We're already at 14 boxes. This one here was box 14. Okay? So I need to count how many more boxes I need, okay? So, one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, six boxes, seven boxes, eight boxes, nine boxes, 10 boxes. 
11 boxes, 12 boxes, 13 boxes, 14 boxes, 15 boxes, 16 boxes. So the principal needs 16 boxes. So in my words, I could write, he needs 16 more boxes. Okay? He needs 16 more boxes. And that is my sentence. He needs 16 more boxes. So, to go through that one more time so you understand it. In the first part, we figured out 140 pencils was 14 boxes. The principal needs 300 pencils. Each box has 10. So I was counting by 10 from 140 to get up to 300 pencils. So this was my 140 pencils, 150 pencils, 160 pencils, 170 pencils, all the way up to 300 pencils. Okay? Each number is a new box. I already know I have 14. He, the answer was how many more boxes would be needed for those pencils, to get those pencils? How many more? Okay? So how many more boxes does he need? So I just counted. I didn't count this one because this one is included in my 14 boxes. So we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So he needs 16 more boxes. That's how we got that answer. Okay? Little difficult doing two-step problems. All right. Here we go. Now we're going to... Go to the next one. Number three, it continues to build. Okay? So, he had 14 boxes of pencils, okay? Which was 140 pencils, okay? He needed 300 pencils, lots of information, okay? So, he had to get 16 more boxes. He needed to get 16 more boxes. Okay? That's the information that we've got so far. Now listen to number three. Number three continues on using the same information. Okay? The principal found seven boxes in the supply closet and four boxes in a desk drawer. Now, does he have what he wants for second grade? Does he have enough? Does he have his 16 boxes that he needed to get? Listen again. The principal found seven boxes in a supply closet and four boxes in a desk drawer. Now, does he have what he wants for second grade? Explain your answer using words, pictures, or numbers. Well, let's see. He found seven boxes, and then he found four more boxes. Okay? So he found seven boxes, and then he found four boxes. So does he have 16 boxes now? We need to figure that out. We need to add to get that, to see. Well, we're going to add these two numbers together. Seven plus four. You should be able to add seven plus four. Seven plus four, we have seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's do that again, we have seven, add four to it. Eight, nine, 10, 11. He now has 11 boxes. Okay? He now has 11 boxes. 
So he has 11 boxes that he found. 11 boxes found. He needs 16. Does he have enough? 16? Is 16 more than 11? Yeah, so he still needs more. The answer is no. He does not have enough. He does not have enough. He still doesn't have enough boxes. He found 11, but he still doesn't have enough yet. Okay? He still does not have enough yet. So, we use the information from the first two to do our third one. Okay? And we found that no. He doesn't have enough boxes to do that yet, okay? So, number four just continues on, and we're not going to do that one because I think that one is something that we need to probably wait a little bit longer into the school year to do because it's really, that one's kind of a little more confusing than what these already are, okay? So, we're going to stop with that. Um, let's see what your exit ticket's about, because I didn't even look at it today to see what it's about. Your exit ticket. You know what? The exit ticket has to do with telling me what strategy worked the best for you and what strategy you liked to use, could have used that might have been different, okay? So a strategy is just how we would have solved it. We drew boxes, okay? We could have used a tape diagram, so you could put a tape diagram down here for it. We could have just added numbers together. That would have been another strategy, okay? So. The strategy one on the exit ticket, if you're watching me, you're lucky today. Just put a big X through it. We're not doing that exit ticket either because I didn't read it to see what you had to do on it before I give it to you. Don't do the exit ticket. Just put a big X and I'll know who listened to me by when I see that X. Okay, I will be back in just a little bit with your science that we're finishing up for today. Talk to you later.